Aha. Uh -huh. uh, standing by me is fine. <laughs> you can applaud now. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me, I'm a little starstruck. Uh, this is uh, an amazing occasion. Welcome everybody, and thank you all for coming. Welcome to a very special event. Uh, in fact, it's a once in a lifetime event. Uh, on the eve, <laughs> well, but we are on the eve of the College of Chemistry's 150th anniversary which we'll be celebrating shortly outside after this ceremony. And we're here now to celebrate and honor one of our most distinguished current colleagues, Professor Jennifer Doudna and the 2020 Nobel Laureate in Chemistry, and one of our distinguished former colleagues, Professor Dave McMillan, the 2021 Nobel Laureate in Chemistry. And it's also my great pleasure to welcome a very special guest, Professor Emeritus and 1986 Nobel Laureate in Chemistry, Y.T. Lee. So. so Jennifer, Dave, and Y.T., Thank you very much for being here with us this afternoon, and so we can celebrate your amazing accomplishments. So as you can all see, one way that we immortalize our Nobel laureates is through these beautiful plaques. 10 for our Nobel winning alumni, to my left, and six for our Nobel winning faculty, to my right. And so let me just start by making a few remarks about the two latest additions to our Nobel Wall of Fame. Jennifer, we'll start with you. So Jennifer is the Li Ka-Shing Chancellor's Chair and Professor of Chemistry and Molecular and Cell Biology here at Berkeley. And among many other roles, she is the founder of the Innovative Genomics Institute partnership between UC Berkeley and UCSF to apply genome engineering to solve global problems in human health and agriculture and making these solutions readily accessible. I could go on for 10 minutes about all of the accolades Jennifer has garnered, so I'll try to be brief. A member of the National Academy of Sciences, the National Academy of Medicine, the National Academy of Inventors, and the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. Jennifer's numerous awards include the Breakthrough Prize in Life Sciences, the Japan Prize, the Wolf Prize in Medicine, and many others. And she was also named one of the 100 most influential people by Time Magazine in 2015. And in 2016, she was a close runner-up for Person of the Year. However, in 2020, Jennifer and her collaborator, Emmanuel Charpentier, at the Max Planck Institute, shared the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for discovering the molecular function of the CRISPR-Cas9 system and describing its use for genome editing, also known as genomic scissors. Their landmark 2012 publication showed how the Cas9 protein uses RNA to recognize a DNA sequence enabling Cas9 catalyzed DNA cutting. Part of an ancient bacterial immune system, CRISPR-Cas9 was shown by the Dialdna Charpentier team to function as a programmable tool for DNA binding and cutting, providing a powerful technology for editing the genome of any living system. It's amazing how familiar this has become to all of us in such a short period of time. The CRISPR-Cas9 technology truly revolutionized life science research opening up vast possibilities for curing genetic diseases and generating plants with beneficial traits. So I'd now like to ask Jennifer to make a few remarks. Jennifer.
Gosh, I feel surprisingly emotional. Um, this is just extraordinary for me. I'm, first of all, incredibly grateful to all of you that are here. It means really the world to me. Could have never have done any of this work if, it, if I were, weren't at Berkeley, that's for sure. Love this place, love all of you. It's a remarkable institution because of the people that are here. And I, in particular, want to thank one of our distinguished chemistry faculty, Professor Jamie Kate, who happens to be my spouse and is also an extraordinary scientist and someone with whom I've shared this whole journey. So I just want to thank you all again. It means the world to me to be here. And I could have never imagined this when I moved to Berkeley 20 years ago. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Now, turning to our other guest of honor, Dave McMillan. He's currently the James B. McDonald Distinguished University Professor of Chemistry at Princeton. However, he began his independent career here at Berkeley in 1998, and it was just over there in Lewis Hall, actually what is currently my lab, I just discovered where David's group conducted the first experiments that led to their seminal 2000 publication describing an asymmetric organocatalytic Diels-Alder reaction. After leaving this historical mark on the Berkeley College of Chemistry, Dave moved to Caltech and then on to Princeton where he has continued his stellar career. He too, of course, has received numerous honors and accolades, including the Gabor A. Somerjai Award for Creative Research and Catalysis, the Ryoji Noyuri Prize, and the Max Tischler Prize, and the Corday Morgan Prize. He is also a fellow of the Royal Society, a member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, and a member of the National Academy of Sciences. In 2021, David shared the Nobel Prize in Chemistry with Benjamin List for the development of asymmetric organocatalysis. David's organocatalysis technology deploys simple organic molecules as catalysts to enable chemical reactions that are inexpensive, environmentally benign, and of course, an antioselective. The field of organocatalysis developed rapidly in the wake of Dave's landmark publication in 2000. He and others have proven organocatalysis to be a powerful, generic catalytic activation mode capable of facilitating a large body of chemical transformations. Today, organocatalytic technologies are routinely employed in academic laboratories and throughout the industrial sectors of flavors, fragrances, materials, agrochemicals, and pharmaceuticals, and probably something else I've left out. <laughs> Dave, I now invite you to say a few words. Okay, so this is surreal. Okay, so number one, I'm not quite sure why we have a microphone. You guys are just right there. Anyway. <laughs> But then, uh, so the second thing is, um, I was talking to Jim, one of my close friends, about being here with my two closest friends. Um, sorry. And uh, I knew it was gonna be hard, but I said to Jim, this is gonna be really hard because I think I'm gonna lose it in front of all these people. And he said to me, for God's sake, Dave, don't throw up on top of Jennifer Doudna. <laughs> <laughs> and so, that's what he did say. Um, but this is uh, very, very, very special to me. I, I'm not going to do a very good job of articulating that, but I'll try my best. Uh, Berkeley is, has an incredibly special place for me. Um, yeah, we, uh, yeah, we got to basically start here with an incredible group of graduate students who joined my group when they had unbelievably better choices. And that's what, Ber that's what Berkeley is. It's just, it, brings in these, these people who are incredibly maverick and they just want to go and do and work for the young people and do things which are completely different. And that's why the place is so special. There's no other department, I think, in the world that does that. And I think you guys do it so, so well. And I think sometimes you have to leave the place to, to actually sort of recognize that. And so for me, this is incredibly special. My best friends in the world, I told people earlier, my best friends in the world are all here. And I just want to thank you for doing this for me today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dave. <clears throat> so I now invite Jennifer and Dave 
to walk over to the plaques for the unveiling. Now, I haven't told them which plaque is whose. <laughs> but being the Nobel laureates they are, they somehow seem to have figured it out. So Jennifer, you are in the center. Dave, you can figure out where you are. Um, so Jennifer, please, approach your plaque. <laughs> On the count of three, one, two, three. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. Dave, you know what to do. YT? <laughs> well, we have this opportunity. <laughs> okay, Jennifer, Dave, we're recalling you to your respective plaques for a once in a lifetime photograph. Okay, well thank you very much Jennifer and Dave for bringing such incredible distinction to our college. And of course, to you as well, YT. Your plaques will remain displayed in the College of Chemistry for the next 150 years, <laughs> at least, and will continue to inspire generations of faculty, students, and staff. So now I think it's time to propose a toast to Jennifer and to Dave for their incredible scientific accomplishments and for your inspiring leadership. Cheers. Cheers. One more toast, in this case to 150 years of Berkeley brilliance including YT, of course. So, here's to Berkeley. Okay, well I now invite you all to just uh, stick around. How much time? <laughs> 3.30, stick around as long as you like, mingle, have fun, and then please, those of you who can, join us out on the plaza at 4 o'clock for a celebration, a brief celebration, of the College of Chemistry's 150th anniversary. So thank you all for coming. Enjoy the gorgeous Friday afternoon and the food and each other's company. Oh, thank you. I think they really appreciated it. And my goodness, how often do you have a chance to do this? Never. <laughs>